Good evening, Council. Okay. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to speak before you this evening. Uh, I'm trying not to go too long. Uh, we did want to, uh, CIC, want to give you uh, an update uh, and, and a recommendation on, on how we've progressed on uh, analyzing the City Hall uh, redevelopment project. And uh, I'll go through this right now and uh, go over those recommendations. So, Going back about three meetings, uh, just a quick background, uh, we had a meeting, a CSC meeting up at the safety center, or safety services building. Uh, at that time, we were, um, we decided that uh, we were going to uh, work with Ken Geis, who was, uh, as you know, one of your consultants you've hired, uh, to uh, assist with this process. Uh, and to work through uh, the different options because as we've discussed in the past there's many many ways to do these types of redevelopment projects in terms of the uh, construction and design delivery model and also many options on the ownership model and structure so after that uh, safety service center uh, uh, meeting we had another uh, regular uh, meeting of the CIC uh, we had a lot of good discussion on it uh, had, uh, the staff there, we had Ken Geis again, I believe we had uh, uh, Andy Brosart um, uh, to inform us on, on any bonding questions. Um, and the way we approached it was this, because it's, it's really tough to get your, your mind around, quite frankly. And, uh, we tried to say, okay, let's, in this, we're, we're talking to Ken Geis now. We said, Ken, could you provide us uh, with basically bookend proposals? Uh, proposals really looking at the two uh, really extremes ownership models. It's really talking about ownership, you know, in one of the initial topics here. So that's what we did. Um, and that's what I believe you have uh, in your packets uh, from Ken Geis, uh, the, uh, the pro formas. And so we, we had him create one where uh, the city of Lovell would be the owner of this uh, project and also act as the developer okay, of the project. And the other end of the spectrum, uh, would be uh, the, the situation where you had, I think Ken referred to it as a joint venture. Uh, I've called it before a preferred developer. There's a lot of ways to call it, but basically where you um, you bring in an outside development and design team, and uh, you can still own uh, the city hall floor, uh, or you can lease it, uh, but basically you shift the risk, and the burden of risk, uh, to that uh, private developer. So those were the, kind of the two, I'll call them bookend. Uh, proposals and, and certainly there's several hybrids in between that uh, versions of each uh, in the middle so that was our second meeting uh, about a month or so ago a lot of good discussion uh, Ken um, uh, brought uh, back uh, the proposals uh, and again went through the questions the answers uh, CIC had again uh, a lot of uh, good input and questions on that. And at the end of the day, um, looking at the recommendations, uh, the CIC voted uh, to recommend to you council uh, to uh, consider a either a two-story, a two-and-a-half story, or four-story development. Now, if you recall, I, I think you, you had been looking at a, a two-story, or a three-story, or a four-story here. Uh, we had some discussion about um, do we even consider a three-story? Uh, one of the CIC members, I think it was Councilwoman Gross, maybe had brought up the idea of uh, uh, a, a rooftop amenity. Uh, potentially, if it's a two-story uh, project, you did a, a rooftop amenity where it was you know, partially covered, or partially open air. Uh, again, could be owned by the city, maybe it wouldn't be, a uh, place for banquets, events, uh, you know, more of a destination spot. Uh, certainly the rooftop and open air facilities are, are, are certainly been trending in popularity in, in recent years. So that's, you know, we basically said, hey, we need to do a two story, a two and a half story, and a four story. And so um, uh, no need for a three story, we thought. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, uh, that's your decision. We're just saying we'd look at one of those uh, three options. In terms of the ownership structure, that's been a big deal. Uh, it's very critical uh, that that's looked very closely. Uh, again, the recommendation of the CIC was to um, you know, uh, pursue the uh, ownership option that had the city uh, in the developer role. 
in the uh, ultimate ownership role of that. <clears throat> and uh, I know I've, I've addressed council before on that uh, issue. Um, and, and all I would do is I would stress to you when you're going through these following weeks and months uh, to deliberate this, you know, that's, that's a big question. And with any uh, decision in life, there's pros and cons. So I, I again, just you know, vet all the various pros and cons of, of, of both those ownership models. But again, that's the official recommendation uh, that the city would uh, develop it and own it ultimately. Um, in, in terms of kind of a third piece of the, of the recommendation, and uh, there are several folks on CIC that made this, uh, I, I can't stress this enough, is that we urge you to um, in, engage the public uh, in whatever appropriate uh, you know, venues and, and manner as you see fit. I personally think that uh, you know the success of this project, very big project for the city going forward, uh, you know, getting that public input and having that public discussion you know, with the council and the public and the staff and all the stakeholders, uh, business owners, uh, you know, it's very critical. It's critical to the success of this and it's critical to get buy-in uh, by, by the citizens, uh, by the business owners. Uh, you know, that, that's why we're all here. So again, th that was, uh, that was a very strong recommendation as well, is, is to you know, go through that process of, of, of public input and, and, and discourse on that. A couple other things um, in, in, in closing. <clears throat> you know, as I said, very critical project. I, I personally think it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a, like a key anchor for downtown Lubbock for, for many years to come. Uh, if we can get this thing built uh, and occupied I would certainly, uh, I'm sure you've been doing this, but I would certainly approach this project. Uh, if you're going as the owner and developer, you know, approach it like you would as a private sector developer you know, and, and business person. Uh, certainly that's part of why the CIC is here. We can do certain things that the, that the city can't. But certainly, uh, even right now, start thinking of this like a private sector person. You know, uh, another recommendation I'd make, it wasn't a formal recommendation, but you know, if you haven't already, you know, you know, consider looking at a market analysis. Uh, again, particularly if you're going to be the owner of this, uh, certainly the, the first floor shell space has a ton of flexibility to it. Uh, that, that allows for retail, office, restaurant, uh, et cetera. Uh, but again, it's, you know, a lot of private sector developers, typically before they get into a project like this, they're still gonna go and, and perform a you know, market analysis. You may want to do the same thing to, to incorporate the, if you go with the two and a half floor option with some sort of open air facility, you know, try to find out what the, you know, what the, if there is any uh, types of land uses that are saturated in this area. Um, you know, and that's what a market analysis is going to tell you, you know, where's the demand, you know, going forward. So again, that's another thing I, that, that I would consider, um, you know, as you go through this process. So again, uh, that's just kind of a high level, you know, review of where we've been the last probably four to six weeks or so. Um, you've got a lot of information, again, a lot of that together by uh, Ken Geis uh, with the various pro formas. Uh, again, another recommendation I would give, and it's kind of common sense, but uh, I, I would suggest you having some sort of work session, uh, or, or if you haven't already with Ken, uh, it's very knowledgeable. And uh, when you really jump into this, and start digging through the numbers and the options, I think that's going to be very uh, helpful uh, to be able to uh, you know, bounce ideas and, and questions off again. I know we, we found it very helpful at the CIC. Um, so with that, that's the presentation and, and that's our presentation. We're, we're thrilled to be a part of it and hopefully we can move it forward.